Hi there and welcome back to the studio. Today I want to talk about the music for The North Pond Hermit. So with this song it's a very mysterious song and I wanted to create a very dark atmosphere which it's kind of driven by that uh, bass line that goes all the way through it with the guitar. Um, but I wanted some other sounds in there and um, for that I reverted to something I used to do when I had my first electric guitar uh, and a tape machine that did echo. Um, so what I'm using for this today is the pen, uh, which I said I would uh, tell you how that played a role in the music other than being used for writing. And I'm also using today um, not my first electric guitar because I don't have that anymore. Um, I sold it for five pounds. Um, but this uh, Hona G2 Tremolo, which is quite nice because it's headless and it's kind of quite compact and it's quite nice to lay across your knees as a as a sort of lap steel um so what i do with that i've got it going through um an amp simulator which you can probably see behind me there um with a couple of delays uh, a bit of distortion and a bit of compression and by using the pen on the strings rather like a bow we get this mysterious sound. And that's how that sound was done. Um, the other um, distinctive feature about this is the fact that I used, for the main vocal, I doubled it by whispering, which is a, a technique I use sometimes. So you have the main vocal and then there is a whisper underneath it, which kind of creates a, a slightly eerie effect. I take the money, I take the car, take the road out of here. Just keep moving. Following the stars Take the road out of here There's a lot of um, drumming in it, it's low drumming, which was actually done with um, their drum plugins, but they're, um, there are two of them and they're detuned. So they're playing the same thing, there's a slight delay between them, and then one of them is tuned slightly lower, so you get this really big, fat um, tom sound. Other than that, it's guitar, bass, uh, drums, Hammond organ. There's a bit of slap bass as well uh, in the instrumental break in the middle and, and lead guitar, for which I used my beautiful um, Gibson ES-175. Uh, so I do hope you found that interesting and I'll see you next time.